You can customize the terrain in the node group, generate variations with seed. You can also change the vertex count, try to keep a low value for a smooth viewport. For more details you can subdivide it, just be careful with this value, try to use it at the end when you are happy with your terrain, one or two levels is enough. Also the size can be changed here. The noise scale and some other values that you can change to customize the terrain to your liking. The terrain includes a material. You can make some changes here in material properties. If you want, you can convert it to mesh. Just right click, convert to mesh. And now we have real geometry. I recommend to convert to mesh and just use scattered paint to add the vegetation or trees. I have a tutorial where I explain how to do it. Or just use Pagapai add-on, it's free and easy to use. This is what I did here. I just added the trees what I need for my render. I also added a displace modifier and used the texture rock face displacement. This texture is included in the terrain material, just select it here. Also in mapping, I repeated the texture by 15. The displace is just to make it a little more rocky. But let's see how to add the trees without converting to mesh. Let's go to modifiers, add a new geometry nodes, then click on new. Now shift A, add distribute points on faces, also instance on points, a join geometry, connect geometry to join geometry to see the terrain. Now with asset browser I'm gonna import a tree, you can use any tree or you can get the nature pack on my Gumbros. Just add the tree and control A, apply the scale, also send the tree to a new collection, hit M and name the collection. You can add different trees to the collection if you like. Now back in geometry nodes, drag the collection and connect to instance. Check pick instance, also separate children and reset children. I'm gonna use cycles for lighting in world properties. I'm gonna add a sky texture. Now we can use Poisson disk to control the minimum distance between the trees. To randomize the scale, add a random value. And just control the minimum and maximum scale. Let's duplicate the node and change to vector, connect to rotation and use only the C axis to randomize the rotation. We can control the density. Now let's see how to scatter based on the slope. Add a normal node, also a compare node. Change to vector, direction, and less than or equal. Connect normal to A, then to selection, and set here to 1, and now just change the angle. We can still customize the terrain. Just click here and choose Geometry Nodes Terrain. 
make the changes you want. Now to see the trees, select the previous geometry nodes. 